welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. So we're continuing with the nylon. And what we have today is nylon and PLA. And I tell you guys, this came out pretty good. I was a little bit nervous of this. Uh, PLA is typically a lower temperature filament. I printed this at um, 230. Now, as with all my tests, it's been 50-50, 50% bridge nylon, 50% PLA. Now, I did use a higher temperature PLA for this print than a normal PLA. I, I forget the manufacturer. You know, it's, it's a, a hardened PLA that's supposed to be more temperature resistant and has a print temperature of, I think, like 215 or 220 versus closer to 200 like most PLAs. Um, all in all, it came out very nice. Nice layering. Uh, a little bit of issues at the crown. I'll do some overlays with the microscope, but you know, very little issue with the crown versus a lot of the other ones. For example, uh, ABS and uh, uh, ASA, where they had a lot of crown issues. This isn't bad. It's not perfect, uh, but again, I think the flow, and, and I think Again, it comes down to the amount of extrusion and the throw of the extruder because it's a geared extruder. And, and we're dividing it up between two so it's, it's not being able to push as much plastic. So I think this is an interesting, maybe a little bit of fine. So uh, I, I think even if you're having, um, you know, maybe printing this with a regular, you know, with the filament, same filament, and you say you might run into this problem sometimes. Um, but, you know, also, I think, you know, part of it may be retraction, but I'm doubting there's much retraction, if any, here. So, this is something I'm going to have to dig into, but, for the sake of conversation, PLA and bridge nylon do mix. It has a nice structural feel to it, uh, very rigid, uh, kind of a bit of a matted finish uh, compared to the, what the normal PLA would be. Um, but I think this is a viable contender. So if you want to have stronger PLA parts uh, and potentially more temperature resistant PLA parts, this may be an option is to mix it with, with nylon. So uh, I would say give it a try because one of the things, again, I'm going to do after I get through, and by the time you probably see this video, I've gotten through all the tests, uh, I'm going to start doing some more tests, particularly with nylon. I've been really impressed with the way the nylons perform. So I'm going to try some dimensional tests and some temperature tests and some durability tests of the different filaments. I'm probably going to focus more on, uh, you know, PLA, PETG, and ABS than ASA and some of the other ones uh, because, you know, these come very close to working and being acceptable prints as they are. And I think by using the, the GTEC A10M mixing printer, we can come up with some unique things. And again, that was my whole reason for getting the A10M is to be able to, you know, do some, you know, basement material science, if you will. I'm not calling this overly scientific. So, you know, you material geeks out there, don't beat me up in the comments below. But so far, this whole experimentation I've done on mixing filaments, the whole nylon, with the other filament has been, I think, the most interesting and the most productive. So, anyways, if you found this interesting, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget the subscribe button over there with the bell. Get those brackets so you're notified when I put out new content. Swag shops in the corner if you're looking for some cool stuff. Let me know in the comments below what we could use uh, this material for. Cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.